this video, learn how to use UI buttons to move player. How to detect touch hold from and pointer enter and exit. What is on a wake event? And get component with find object of type. How to handle button right and button left is pressed by UI buttons. And how to test game directly on your phone with remote. Multi-touch is supported and worked well on any phones. This video lets use UI button to move player left and right. Create new C sharp script. Name it button touch hold to detect any button in touching. Add this script into button right and button left. Open the script. Remove all unnecessary code. First at all, you need to add event systems to get all touch events. Let's check what touch events we can have. We have touch down, touch up, enter, exit, move, but don't have touch hold here. Don't worry, we can create it from touch enter and exit. Add pointer enter handler and pointer exit handler. Hover on pointer enter handler. Click on implement interface to add this code. Do the same to add on pointer exit event. Delete this code, we don't need it. Next, let's add a variable to check if touch is holding. Type is bool and name is hold. If button is pressed or entered, is hold will be true. And when you don't touch that button anymore, own pointer exit will trigger. Is hold will be false. Now whenever button is pressed and holding, let's print out a message. When touch exit, print out a message to Control S to save your script. Press play to test it. Touch button right. Message will keep printing out, means this button is on pressing and hold. Touch hold event worked well. Open player controller script. Currently you can move player left right with keyboard buttons only. We need to add one more controller for touch events. First, move all keyboard controller inside a void event. Then paste them all here. And use this event to check all keyboard buttons to move player. Now create new void event for touch controller to move player left right. You can turn off touch controller if the game is on PC. Or if your game is on phone, turn off keyboard controller. Switch platforms is so easy. In touch controller, we need event to move player left right. Last video, we did make touch button for player jump already. Paste these code to touch controller. We need to detect when button right or button left is clicked now. To do that, create new public variable with type bool. And name is press button right when UI button right is pressed. One more variable for UI button left. Add them to touch controller. When is press button right is true, move player to right.
And when is press button left is true. Move player left. We finish touch controller and ready to move player on phone. To get component player controller from player, you can use public variable to do it. Or in last video, you learned how to use serialize field to do that. This video, let's learn another way to do it. We will find and add it with script at on awake. Awake event will trigger before start event is called. Let's find component player controller and add it into this variable. We use find object of type. It will need a name of component you want to get. Get component player controller from player. This event will search all of objects on screen and look for component player controller. That's why it is expensive and take more memory to run. So make sure you use it at awake event only. We already have component player controller of player. When button right or button left is pressing, let's compare its name to see which button is pressed. Use game object name to get name of this object. Or you can use name only. They are the same. If name is button right, so this script is called from UI object button right. It means, is press button right on player is pressed. Do the same for UI button left. Let's turn off these button variables when touch is exit. Control S to save your script. Press play and test it. Touch button right and left to move player. Everything seems work well. If you try it on a slow phone, on pointer exit might not work as expected. Let's adjust a little bit at event, on pointer exit. Create new event name touch end. Our purpose is, after on pointer exit, make it wait a little bit of time. Last video, we learned how to use wait for seconds. Make it wait for about 0.1 second. Or 0 0.05 is good enough. To use wait event, you must use yield return new. And to use yield return new, it must be a enumerator event. Now move all code of on pointer exit to our new event. and run new event on pointer exit. To run an enumerator event, you must use start coroutine. Save your script. Test it on PC. All buttons worked well. Connect your phone to PC with a cable. Then open Project Settings. Menu Editor. You will see your phone name here. Select it. Change to JPEG Compression. And Resolution Normal to run faster. 
On your phone, download Unity Remote. Install and open it. Then press play. It will run the game on your phone. It worked perfect now. Multi-touch work very well too. Next video, learn how to add button run. To check multi-touch of many touch hold at same time. Don't forget to subscribe my channel to save the tutorial. Thank you for watching, and see you in next video.